where the Israeli troops have yet again killed two Palestinian protesters during the weekly protests along the Gaza-Israel border. Now, one of those who was killed was a 14-year-old boy who was shot dead in the head during the border protest east of Rafah in the southern Gaza Strip. Now, now, the man was also shot in the head by the Israeli forces near the frontier fence east of the Khan Yunus. The Israeli military did not comment directly on the deaths, but has said that about 7,000 Palestinians had thrown rocks and also rolled burning tires at the soldier near the border that you're seeing on the screens. Now, there's been continuous violence between the Israeli army and the Palestinian protesters in the Gaza Strip since late March, in which at least about 156 Palestinians have been gunned down by Israeli soldiers. In Jerusalem, the Israeli security forces have fired stun grenades to disperse worshippers who were gathered for Friday prayers at the Al Haram Al Sharif compound. Now, the Israeli police entered the third holiest shrine in Islam and then carried out the arrests in what the police has described as a pursuit of youths who had thrown rocks and fireworks during the clashes. But later, the Israeli police also reopened the Al Aqsa Mosque after it had been shut in response to the clashes. It was not immediately clear as to what had sparked the clashes. The unrest comes amidst heightened tensions between Israel and the Palestinians in both the Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank.